Hello everybody, this is Dolpha, and we're back in Sharon no Kuni. Let's carry on. The afternoon classes ended, and the school day went with them. Oi, Sachi, wake up. I placed my hand on Sachi's shoulder as she snored. Wakey, wakey. She didn't seem to have any problems waking up. I could kind of understand why Sachi slept during class. Why exactly did time pass so slowly during class anyway? Because it's boring. One reason. You already said that this morning. Now's the time. Now's the time? Was that a quote from Akichi uh, Mutushu Hyde? I don't know. You've read that series too, huh? <laughs> Tokugawa's treasure. Treasure. Anyway, did you mean to say time is money? <laughs> Sachi didn't hesitate to laugh at her own joke, like a normal person would have. Sachi. <laughs> Aye? Ooh. Lucky. Oh, sure. He possessed considerable skill at butting into conversations. Okay. では、ヒップホップでも歌ってやろう。Oh god. That's even worse. Yeah. Un and Isano actually get along well in a way. Okay, so count me, we have 5 people. Oninte. Me, Sachi, Un, Isano. I tick them off on my fingers. もう一人って? Why Natsumi, of course. Did you think we're talking about your mum? Is there a problem with that? うん、いいよ。委員長は委員長なんだから、クラスのみんなと仲良くしなきゃダメだぞ。うん、もちろん。ただ、ちょっと。Okay. Oon fell silent. Adopting the expression of one in deep thought. Yes. Sachi alone was triumphant in her lack of concern. Okay. Okay. Fine. Sachi dropped like a log after checking up on things at her PC. Are we? The gas repair man still hasn't come. I mean, seriously now. We're paying for this. They're just neglecting their job. Yep. Yeah, exactly. If you don't work, you don't eat. No. Shot through the heart. Oh, okay. Lie or be honest. Is it a job, what he's doing? I guess it is. Be honest, why not? I'm an unemployed vagrant. I filled my chest with pride. True. Huh? Yes. Oh ho! I found her ideas intriguing, and I wish to subscribe to her newsletter. We need a book or something. 
want me to teach you? Hey now, I wasn't feeling sympathy for this girl, was I? What do you want to know? I mean, she was just some girl who I knew nothing about. Some girl who I had just met. Mana. This was shaping up to be quite the tale. Calculate. Arithmetic, then. Okay. Very well. I'll begin with Firma. Last theorem. Theremant. Well, that's what I had in mind, but I'm thinking that it can wait until after dinner. The fact that I was capable of teaching something to another person was proof of just how far I had come. Or something like that. I'm going to go stock up. I stood up and stretched. Yes. <laughs> it's not begging. It's merely aid through the supply of uh, provisions. This is a pretty important concept in an international society. Okay. I left the room. Oi, Natsumi! Nat-chan! Feed me more spaghetti! I finally arrived at Natsumi's room. I had forgotten to make an appointment. <laughs> Are you here? I heard wrestling from within the room. Nat-chan! It's-a me! Kenichi! I'm enjoying this too much today. Mm. Natsumi cracked the door open and came out into the hallway. Good evening, Natsumi. Sorry for bugging you again. Yes. Ah, you're quick on the uptake. That makes things simple. Okay. Can I come in? Is it? I guess it is. Natsumi hot-footed it back into her room. She didn't even give me time. Blah, blah. She didn't even give me the time to tell her to stop. Wait a sec. My being prohibited from going into her room is the result of a degree handed down from your previous special high-class individual, correct? Old man Hotoki's taken his place, so that a decree should no longer be in effect. Prohibition of love's only concrete restriction is the disallowance of contact with the opposite sex. -er. After that, the rest of the rules just come down to your special, uh, to your high class individual's personal judgment. Stuff like how revealing your clothing can be or whether or not you can allow men into your room falls, and, uh, falls into this territory. These secondary restrictions are referred to to as simply special guidance, but their violation still car but their violation still carries steep penalties. However, here's the thing: when the high-class individual changes, so do the details of the special guidance you're working with, and thus ends the tedious explanation part. This muttering thing must be getting pretty annoying, huh? <laughs> She arrived with a plate covered in fried rice. I took it quickly to avoid causing her too much distress. Oh yeah, why don't we have a party with everyone tomorrow? There'll be cake, unless something goes wrong. Party? Yes, a party. Yeah, it'll be fun. I tried smiling at her. Party to you to... Is that a thing? <laughs> Sunbathing. I don't think it'll be that laid back. Uh, it's a bit more exciting than that. Foreign words. You liar. The entire world knows what party means. I couldn't say something like that to Nat-chan, of all people. Well, shit. I guess I did say it. Ah, 
No, it's a big world out there. I'm sure there are people who don't know what a party is. Is there? Hmm. I had been convinced that she would refuse the invitation, but she seemed to be somewhat interested after all. Then you'll come? My voice was flushed with anticipation. However, Natsumi did not acquiesce. Hmm. The most surprising thing about the whole affair was that she looked into my eyes while she was turning down my offer. But that lasted only a moment. Come on, let's tie our hands together and dance. Yeah. Is that a thing? Tying your hands together and dancing? Okay. Man, don't say that. Why do you always reject things like this? Especially me. Hmm? Confident people, maybe? You certainly don't beat around the bush, do you? Don't worry about it. I'm used to people hating me. I had been entertaining thoughts of maintaining an ambiguous relationship with her, but it looked like she had simply been avoiding me. But I'd like to ask what exactly you dislike about me. Hearing some more details about this particular issue would have been beneficial. <laughs> ひょうひょうとしている感じが嘘ついたり大げさに喋ったり無理してるような気がするんです。うん。自信満々なように見えてどこか焦っているような。うん。Interesting. Her tone was calm, but her words were unreserved. Oh, thank you. Cheers. You're quite frank for someone so nervous. Interesting. Yeah, I know. You're pretty amazing. Natsumi was probably extremely nervous right now. Her heart was pounding heavily and she was sweating profusely. The fact that she could hide her anxiety in such a state was rather impressive. However, wasn't she forcing it as well? I decided not to raise that issue. Do you like someone, anyone? Perhaps you prefer the type who doesn't overthink things? So, so, who is it? This is a pretty old-fashioned method of uh, detecting lies, but your pupils were staring up and to the left as you said that. So, so Oh. I recalled the time when we had first met. Natsumi had been waiting for someone there, then. Then how about playing along with me, just for tomorrow? It's not gonna be just me. Sachi and Un are gonna be there too. It'll be fun. I guarantee it. I affected indifference. Natsumi maintained her silence. Okay, fine. I just won't go. There won't be a problem then, right? Enjoy yourself. You can ask Oon for the time and place. I turned my back to her. Mana, one of my roommates is waiting for me. The food's gonna get cold. I left without looking back. Hmm. Mana had already left for work by the time I returned. I guess I had taken longer than I thought. 
I had nothing to do after eating my portion of the rice. So I lay down. I couldn't settle down. I sat up and ignited my pipe. Ka-ka-ka-ka-ka. Foo! Foo. My head hurt just a bit. And I got the feeling that the number of leaves I was using in my pipe was going up. Even so, it never failed to calm me down. I giggled, alone within the dark room. I fell into a deep sleep, casting off thoughts of Natsumi and the examination. Hmm. The next day! I'm guessing that's a date. I just don't know what it says. Okay then, with that, I am going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Delpha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye.